Hey traders, in this video we're going to look at tick size versus tick value, two different things important to get right if you're trading. Stay tuned. Hey guys, one for you future traders out there, day traders, swing traders, doesn't really matter. When we're trading a futures contract, there's sometimes a little bit of ambiguity between tick size and tick value. They're two distinct different things. And as a beginner, you kind of can get it wrong because when you're starting out, you could trade the contract, look at the contract, you kind of see, well, what's one contract worth? I don't really know what happens with it moves, one increment, what happened, you know, it's just kind of confusing potentially. So this isn't really a deep dive into futures per se. This is more explainer between the minimum increment move, which is our tick size, and our tick value. And we've got a price here for this asset to kind of give you an idea of the current price level at the time of this video so we can see what's going on. Right, so the tick size is literally, the tick is one increment move. It's the minimum amount that futures contract can move at any one time. So it can't move less than that. Of course, it can move more than that, but one price increment, that's the smallest amount. In stocks, in the majority of the time, it's 0.01 dollars. In other words, one cent movement. And in futures contracts, it's a little bit different depending on the contract. So let's have a look at some of the more common ones, and then let's look at what tick value is, and let's look at the price as well for sort of reference. Okay, so the first one, one of the largest, or one of the most commonly traded, should I say, from retail traders, is the S&P 500. The code for that is ES. Now the minimum increment move, i.e. the tick size on this, is 0.25. And at the moment, the price is 2679.25. So if that's a move up by one tick, you got it, it will be 2679.5. If you were to move down, of course, 2679.00. That's the minimum it can move. Now, if we're trading one contract, and this I suppose I should put in here, this is one contract. So if we're trading one contract of S&P 500, the tick value of that is 12.50. In other words, for every move of 0.25, it's plus or minus $12.50. $12 so if we're long one contract, and it goes up by the minimum increment move, the minimum tick size to 26.750, then we're gonna make $12.50. If it moves down, we're gonna lose $12.50. So if it's moving up one full point, to one handle as they often call it, it's gonna be 12.50 times by four. You've got it, it's gonna be 50 bucks. So that's the S&P 500. Uh, in other words, you, you know, you can work out from that, hey, uh, okay, if I move quarter of a point and it's 12.50, what's my position size? Where's my stop got to be? Let's say my stop's got to be at, you know, 26.70, for example, or 26.69.25, so it's 10, a 10 handle stop. Okay, how much am I prepared to risk on that? Okay, let's have a look at my tick value, work out what the tick value is compared to how much I'm prepared to risk. That's my contract size, or that's my position size, should I say. All right, crude oil now, another popular one. This one's a little bit more exciting, generally moves a little bit more aggressively than S&P 500. I'm generalizing a little bit. Uh, CL is the code for this one, uh, and this is the uh, you know, NYMEX crude. And the minimum increment move for crude oil is one cent, so 0.01 dollars, okay? So the price at the moment for this is 51.63. It can only move by one cent, 51.64, 51.62. That's all it can go for this specific contract, which is the most common contract uh, for crude oil, which is CL. There is another kind of mini, uh, which trades slightly differently and slightly tick values, but this is the most common one that most traders will trade. And the minimum, uh, the tick value of that, should I say, for one tick, the minimum increment move, is $10. So for one contract, every cent that moves, you're gaining or losing $10. If you're long, obviously you're gaining $10. If you're short, you're gaining $10. If it goes down and the other way around, you get the idea of long and short. So the tick value on that is $10. And bearing in mind, guys, that this you know crude oil can be reasonably volatile, uh, that can be quite a large contract for some people. It's not as big as uh, one of the ones further down the second, but it can be. Now, if that's if that's swinging around you know, two or three hundred, uh, two or three dollars a day, which is not unfeasible, uh, then that's a big move for one contract. Don't forget. Okay, gold. Our uh, code for this one is GC. Again, there is a mini, but this is the most popular one. Is GC. Uh, minimum increment move is not point one, so ten cents. Here we go. Here's the current price at the moment. Doing the video twelve twelve eighty. Next tick up will be twelve twelve ninety. Down will be twelve twelve seventy. I think you get the idea. But the minimum uh, tick is not point one. The tick value is ten. So if that's going to move one full point, if you like a one full dollar to uh, 12, what are we, 12, 
1380, um, then it'll be $100. So you get the idea. Uh, next one, we've got natural gas, and the code on this one is NG, and that's one of the more popular contract sizes of natural gas. That's 0.01. Again, same scenario, 2.51, uh, 4.251 is the current price. Next price up will be 0.252, and that would be worth $10 per tick. So one contract, $10 up and down. And you can see we've got an extra decimal place on that, so watch out, don't get caught out on natural gas. Uh, DAX, uh, most of the time the code on that is F, DAX. Uh, what well, it is for the futures DAX, and that increment is 0.5. So the current price is uh, 11,319.5. Next one up will be 11,320. Obviously, uh, 0.5 move. Each uh, increment move is, or each tick is worth $12.50. So each point, one point, is worth 25 euros. That's a big contract, guys, because this thing can swing round very easily 200 points, very, very easily. So you're looking at 400 ticks. Uh, move potentially if that's moving 200 points that moves to 11 uh, 5 19.5 uh, you don't need to be a mass genius to work out that's going to be a pretty big move for one contract which is why I think the DAX is quite a spiky market because one contract moving you know you're only going to move uh, you know 10 points which is just like nothing it's just noise and it's already uh you know a fair chunk of someone's account all right footsie uh z here footsie 0.5 that's five dollars per tick similar to the dax except it's a much lower price contract 699 six at the moment 0.5 the next one up of course will be 6997 and that'll be five dollars per contract if you're long uh, one contract all right and the final one is nq really that's nasdaq 100 not sure i put that there but that's the code for it and that moves in 0.25 tick increments current price at the moment 6701.25 so if we're ticking down obviously the next price is going to be 6701 that's the minimum it can do and each one of those is worth five dollars so you need four of these obviously to move the nasdaq by one whole point if you like if you're calling that a point now one thing to keep in mind guys if you're uk traders or if you're trading cfds or spread bet this may be different depending on who you're trading with and how you're trading i've known spread betting companies to quote things slightly differently you think you're doing one contract to pound a point perhaps it may be a point they might call a point on gold for example is this digit here as opposed to this digit here or this digit here you need you have to make sure you you're fully aware of what's going on but this is the future just contracts if you're going directly onto the exchange these are the tick values these are the minimum increment moves which is the tick size that one there and that's the tick value there so make sure you're aware of that when you're trading your futures contracts whether you're day trading or swing trading right guys hope that's helpful to you if you're a beginner trader take care bye bye